Hello and welcome to another video from Minus Touch Toys, Games and Collectibles. And today we're looking at something a little bit different. It's not particularly old, but I do think it's such a cool item, which is why I wanted to do a video on it. So we are looking at the 2018 release by Paladone from their desktop vacuum series of items. Um, and these were USB powered items that people would use to vacuum their desktop. Um, and this particular one that we're looking at today is from Star Wars The Last Jedi, and it is the R2-D2 desktop vacuum. Okay, so this is the box that it comes in, and it says USB powered. You've got the Polydone logo on the top right-hand corner, and it says Star Wars, and you've got an image of uh, Poe, Ray, and Finn. And it's got R2-D2 desktop vacuum. And you've got the Disney logo at the very bottom on the right hand side. And obviously you can see R2-D2 in the side of the box. Um, let's just turn the box around to the back. And this is what it's set, what you've got on the back. So you've got R2-D2 um, desktop vacuum, USB powered, powerful suction. And you've got the warning information, Paladone details and the barcode at the bottom there. Um, on the very bottom of the box, what is all this? Oh, it's just all the warning um, information at the bottom there. Um, and at the top of the box, it's just the same, same images on, on the sides. And again, it just says R2-D2 desktop vacuum. Okay. Um, I'm just going to read you the review of what they say this is. It says... Um, the Last Jedi got a little help from everyone's favourite astromech droid to keep your desk in tip-top condition. A miniature version of the popular Star Wars character R2-D2. This desktop vacuum cleaner is perfect for keeping on top of all those small table uh, top jobs. At 13.5 centimetres tall, R2-D2 will vacuum up and dust crumbs through his front legs and has a screw top lid making him easy to empty once full. R2-D2 soon becomes one of the most enduring popular Star Wars characters. Brave, useful, quirky and cute in a three-legged, faceless robot kind of way. He stood up to the Galactic Empire and helped Luke Skywalker, Han Solo and Obi-Wan Kenobi fight Darth Vader and defeat the Dark Side. Now R2 is putting all that experience to good use to take on his bigger challenge yet, tackling the mess you make at your workstation. <laughs> USB powered, the R2-D2 desktop vacuum comes with a micro USB cable that can be plugged into any standard laptop, USB port or USB mains adapter. The vacuum is activated by pushing the button situated on R2-D2's head and it's not suitable for children under 36 months. Okay, so that is the um, review. Uh, it also says actually best used for cleaning jobs such as small crumbs and pencil shavings. Okay, so that gives you an idea of what it's used for, but it's such a cool item. So when, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open the box, take it out, and let's have a really good look at it. Okay, so I've opened the box and removed it, and it's such a little, cool, beautiful little item. There you can see there's a suction section there, and the wheels there. Um, it, they, there's no movement there on it, and obviously that's your operating button at the top there. Um, your plug section there, your USB connector. Um, so you, it says you can connect it into a USB port or into um, one. I've got one of these plugs here, uh, which we'll plug it into in a minute and see if it works. Um, okay, so it says here, Star Wars R2-D2 desktop vacuum cleaner. Um, so R2-D2 desktop vacuum cleaner, USB cable, and that's the contents. Um, ensure the head of R2-D2 is firmly screwed into the body. Um and it says, to activate R2-D2 desktop vacuum cleaner, push the power button on top, press again to turn it off. And once activated, position R2-D2's front legs over the small particles of mess on your desk to vacuum clean your area. Uh, to empty, disconnect R2 from the power source and unscrew the head. The unit can then be emptied. Okay, there we go. So that's the instructions. So the head obviously unscrews... Oh yeah, there we go. So that's just like the bin that it comes in. Um, so, shall we try it? Let's just pop it, if I can pop it back on. It obviously goes on 
on one position. Is that on properly? Yep. Okay, it says make sure it's pushed on properly. So there we go. Right, I'm going to plug this in and let's turn it on. Okay, so I've plugged R2-D2 in now. Um, so I've got his cable connected into um, my USB connector. So, oh, there we go. Yep, so he's sucking up air through the hole there. I mean, it's not it's not a, 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 very, a very powerful suck, to be perfectly honest with you. And that's why it says it's only ideal for small crumbs. There's a few little bits of fluff that I've had on my booth here, which it's picked up. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's, as I say, the it's not a huge, it's, it's not picking up um, masses, masses amounts. So maybe I haven't got the, the, the lid on properly. So let's just try that again. Um, so the lid goes on and turns into this, locks onto the side. So let's just pop this back into the right place. A little bit awkward to get the top on. Oh, there we go. Yeah, and again. Well, it is, it is sucking, but it's, it's not a, a, a very strong, powerful suck. So I think this is more of a gimmick than an actual, um, not an actual hoover, really. I mean, it does have the light at the back there, uh, which I think is probably supposed to be at the front, actually. So let's let's turn it back around again. Um, and maybe I had the the, 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 the top put it put it the top back on the wrong way round. Um, I don't know. I think it will only go on one way. But let's. Uh, well, it's on the side now. And again, this, uh, the suction is there. It's just not very strong. Let's see if I can get R2-D2's light to be at the front. Well, I've got it at the side there. I say that it is, it is sucking. Oh, there we go. So now I've got R2-D2's um, light at the front, which is where he's supposed to be. So there he goes. He's on his wheels now, and he's doing my hoovering of my component. You just see some little dust spots that he's just picked up. So, yeah. Oh, it's a terrific little item. This is a very good gimmick. Um, as I say, it's not, it's not a massive, strong suction. Um, it's not sucking your skin or anything, but it does pick up little bits of dust. Um, it'd be ideal to use on your, your screen if you suffer with, with dust hitting on your screen. But yeah, terrific item, really nice and, and fun item to have on your desk. It says it was 13 and a half centimeters. I think it's a little bit bigger than that. It looks like it's about 14 centimeters uh, in height. And if we measure the width wise, we're talking about nine centimeters and um, the diameter, nine centimeters by eight centimeters. So. Uh, that's the size of R2-D2, and it, it is a terrific little novelty item. Um, how well did it do? Well, I don't think it done particularly well, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, it was one of those items that was in the gadget shop or um, something like that. I think a few of the card shops had them in, uh, but it wasn't a very well um, um, item that you could pick up in, in loads of different stores. You literally had to go to something like the gadget store or a card shop that had them in, and that was the only place you was gonna get it from. Um, um, yeah, I, I just wonder if I, I saw them in any of the the car shops, because you can use it in the car, but I, I don't recall ever seeing them in any of those. So um, yeah, unfortunately it wasn't very well um, distributed to shops. Maybe shops didn't want it, I don't know. Um, or maybe um, they just didn't have the right outlet for it. I really don't know. But it's a shame, really, because it's such a great novelty item. And I'd love to have one of these on. In fact, I will. I'll probably keep one of these and keep it on my desk because I do make a mess when I'm on my desk. Um, so I may keep one and um, just hoover up all the little bits and pieces that I tend to um, spill onto my desk.
but yeah i mean overall i think it's a fantastic item it's such a good looking item and a real novelty item to have and a fun item to have even though it makes a lot of noise <laughs> but other than that it's fabulous so yeah i really like it um and of course if you like it you can quite easily purchase them there we do have a few available on the minus touch website which you can get to quite simply by clicking the link below it takes you straight to the website where you'll be able to find this and many other star star wars items and many other toys, games, and collectibles come to that. There's over 10,000 products currently available on the website for you to view and purchase at your leisure. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button because we're uploading videos for every new item that goes into the website. There will be something for everybody, and I'm absolutely positive that you won't want to miss this because we literally have thousands and thousands of new products which we're shooting videos for and uploading on a daily basis. So if there's something in particular you are looking for, something old that you're then going to find, Something quirky you might want to buy for a friend. Or maybe just something from your childhood that you like to own again to help you recuperate those long-lost childhood memories. Well, stay tuned. Keep watching. Because you never know the next item we upload could be that item you've been looking for. Okay, that is it for me on this particular item. I do hope you've enjoyed reviewing this little gadget with me. Thank you for watching. And we will see you again next time.